Hello, hello, my beloved students. How's everything? Okay, very good. It's me, Miss T. Welcome back to our lesson today. So, are you ready to study English with me? Good job. Now, let's go. Today, we will continue with Unit 11, Something New to Watch, Lesson 2 and 3, Grammar. Open your book, page 81, please. Okay, everyone, in this lesson today, the content will include two parts. One, the infinitives of purpose. To how often? Let's start with the first part of the lesson today, the infinitive of purpose. We have the action, and we have purpose or reason, and they will connect with each other with the word too. For example, I turned on the TV to watch sports or he played the CD to listen to music or she turned off the TV to play a video game so as you see in the first part it is the action and the last part of the sentence they are purpose or they are reason and they connect with each other by the word too as you see and we have a structure like it action plus to plus verb based form and object and why we have this structure because we use to plus base form after an action to say why we did the action. Okay, it's easy, right? Okay, now to make sure that you understand, I have a game for you. Okay, so the game is very simple. Let's go. As you see, we have a sentence with a blank here and four choices. And your mission is you have to choose the correct answer to fill in the blank. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Number one, we use a camera. A, take pictures. B, to play games, C, to take pictures, or D, to buy food. So, which one is the correct answer here? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, thumbs up. And the answer is... Good. Yeah, to take pictures. Now everyone listen and repeat. We use a camera to take pictures. Okay. Let's move to the next one. We use a clock. A. To know the time. B. To listen to music. C. To open the door. Or D. To cook. <laughs> okay, everyone, you see the word clock here, so it must be related to the term, right? So, this is very easy. What is your answer? And my answer is... Good. A, to know the term. Now, listen or repeat. We use a clock to know the term. Well done, everybody. Let's move to the next sentence. We use instruments. A. To listen to music. B. To make music. 
C. To climb a girl and D. To make a cake So, which one is suitable in this situation? Can you guess? Instruments related to the music, right? A. To listen to music or B. To make music Mm, I think B is correct. Now try it. Good. Yeah, good job. To make music. Now listen and repeat. We use instruments to make music. Okay, you got it? Now, the next one. Mom put on her best dress. A. To go to the party B. To play games C. To cook dinner Or D. To have a shower So, according to you, which, which one is correct here? Mom put on her best dress You see the, her best dress So when one wear the best dress, it means that he or, he or she wants to go to the... Good. Yeah, go to the party. Now listen and repeat. Mom put on her best dress to go to the party. Uh-huh, very good. Next one. Dad turned up the radio. A. To watch the news. B. To go to bed. C. To listen to the news. Or D. To watch the dishes. So, which one is correct? Turn off the radio, radio to go to bed. Mm -hmm, I don't think so. To watch this stream? Mm -hmm. And they often is to listen to the Good. news. Okay. So, everyone, listen and repeat. Dad, turn up the radio to listen to the news. Excellent. Let's move to the next one. People use a remote control A. To write an email B. To play games C. To lock a door D. To train the channel mm -hmm. So according to you, people use a remote control for what? Okay, to change the channel. Okay, everyone listen and repeat. People use a remote control to change the channel. Well done. Let's move to the last questions of this game, everyone. Now, try your best. People use a rocket. A. To travel around the world B. To fly to other countries C. To keep people safe Or D. To travel to the moon hmm. You see, travel around the world Do you think so? No, I don't think so To fly to other countries No To keep people safe yeah, but may not in this situation. So the correct answer is Good. to travel to the moon. Okay, it's easy, right? Now everyone listen and repeat. People use a rocket to travel to the moon. Okay, you did a good job in this game, everyone. So do you understand how to use the infinitives of purpose? Yeah, I bet you got it. Okay, now let's move to the next part of our lesson today. How often? 
Okay, how often? We use how often to ask someone how frequently they do something. For example, how often do you play soccer? How often does she go shopping? Or how often did they go swimming? Yes, and we have structures of how often like this. How often? Plus do, does, or did. Plus subject. Plus object. Okay, this structure is very easy to remember, right? And now, the most important thing is to talk about how frequently we do things. We can use expressions like this. Once, it means one time. Twice, it means two times. And three times. Okay. And we add more the word are. For example, once a day, or twice a week, or three times a month, three times a day, or once a year, or twice a year, okay, and so on. Now, for example, I play basketball on Mondays and Thursday, and I also have the same sentence like this. I play basketball twice a week. Okay? Because Mondays and Thursday here. Okay, so it's mean that twice a week. You got it? Now one more example. Oh a boy is playing the guitar and I have a sentence like it. He plays the guitar on Sundays. It means that he plays the guitar once a week. Okay? He plays the guitar once a week because he plays the guitar only on Sundays. Okay? So we use the word once a week here. Do you understand? Now, move to the word every. Every morning. Every afternoon, every evening, or uh, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year, and so on. Okay. Now, for example, they watch TV on Sundays. Okay. It means that. They watch TV every Sunday. Okay. Every Sunday they watch TV. Also mean they watch TV on Sundays. They are the same. Okay. Now the second example. She goes to Dalat in June. It also means that she goes to Dalat every year. Right? Okay, you see the word every year here. It's very easy. Now, I have a game for you that we will understand more this kind of word, this kind of expressions. The game's name is Saving Tony. You have to click on the right option to save Tony. If not, Tony will die. Okay, try your best. Now the first one, on Saturdays and Sundays, equal to blah 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 weekend. We have two choices here, every or twice. So you see weekend here, we don't have the word er uh in front of the weekend, so you have to choose. Oh yeah. Every. Now everyone listen and repeat. On Saturdays and Sundays equal to every weekend. Okay, the next one. At 4 p.m. o'clock every day. 
also means that blah 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 all day and we have two options here every and once you see the word all here so we have to choose the words once oh, yeah. a day okay once a day next one in january may and october it mean twice a year or three times a year okay one two three so three oh, times yeah. a year okay next one how often does he go to singapore every year or once a year uh -huh. i think it's easy because the word uh here you see uh so it must go with the word oh yeah once a year yeah it's easy right now next one how often do you go swimming once friday or every friday okay with our uh here so you must choose oh yeah every friday yeah next one every tuesday and thursday equal to blah 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 a week so twice a week or once a week you see tuesday one thursday two oh, so you have to choose oh yeah twice a week yeah it's very simple and fun next one how often do you do yoga morning and it was morning so once morning or every morning mm, it must be oh yeah every morning yeah now we have just play two games to practice more about the infinitives of purpose and how often and now it's time for you to remember how to use them okay and do the worksheets attached below okay can you do that yeah you can do that it's time to say goodbye goodbye and see you again